Welcome back. This is Breakfast at Dawn. That was Adnan Jaffa there giving you your headlines and your top stories. Now to get back into the program. Who does not enjoy the adrenaline rush of a fast car? I don't know about you, but I've always been fascinated by, you know, the endurance of not just the race cars, but for the guys in there. But it's not just a speed high, it's hard work. And there are people who've been working hard to bring you the sport here in Pakistan. You've seen the billboards and the posters everywhere. The hunt is on for Pakistan's next top racers. And the man behind it all is Adnan Sarwar. He is with me now live in our Karachi studio. Hi. And Thank welcome you. to Breakfast at Dawn. Thank um, you for having us. So tell me, uh, before we start chatting, let's take a look at uh, what Pakistan Racer Hunt is all about. Racing driver, here's your chance. Pakistan Racer Hunt 2009. The search for the next generation of racing stars from the country is on, is on. Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad. First prize, 1.5 lakh rupees. Entry packs available at Bharat Business Centers and Espresso. Visit www.pakistanracerhunt.com. Pakistan Racer Hunt 2009. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> you look pretty pleased yourself. Yeah, I am, I am. <laughs> so, uh, what made you want to bring racing to Pakistan? Uh, well, uh, racing is a personal uh, passion of mine and I do represent Pakistan internationally. Uh, you know, a racing driver has a, a, a life, a career span, which uh, I'm near the completion of. So uh, the intention is uh, to not let the, the racing scene die in Pakistan because it's a very expensive sport and people are very misguided uh, and they don't even have the knowledge on how to proceed. So basically this whole program was set up to find r raw racing talent and train them for the future so that we have a pool of drivers for the future and the, the representation of Pakistan on an international scale is not stopped up to me. Okay, l um, mm. well, let me ask you, you, you say that you've been participating internationally, whereabouts? Well, uh, in the Asian region, I uh, represented Pakistan in the I Indian National Formula Racing Championship. Then um, I've done some racing in China. I've represented Pakistan in the 24 hours of Dubai. Uh, I, I was also the first Pakistani to test for and get selected for Avon GP Team Pakistan. This was uh, a couple of years ago. Well, I never joined the team because of sponsorship issues, but uh, the fact that we got selected was a big thing. Why did you have sponsorship issues? Uh, it's a very expensive sport. I mean, it's uh, the most expensive sport in the world. The driver is supposed to bring uh, a, a sponsor with them uh, who basically covers some of the cost of the team. Uh, the sponsorship amount that we're looking for for Avon GP and higher formula of racing is, is a lot. And I don't think the Pakistani corporate sector is uh, at a position where they can put that kind of money into a sport which has no real following in Pakistan. So all over the world, is it is it really the corporate sector that puts in money and sponsors yes, uh, teams? Motorsport is a very uh, interesting and unique way to market your brand. And you know the biggest companies in the world, the biggest brands in the world, go into this sport uh, for association and for marketing mileage. But uh, we don't think uh, Pakistani companies are there yet. Some have taken the first step. But the uh, funds that are available to us through the corporate sector are not enough to break into uh, a series like Formula One or even GP. But uh, we're doing we're doing well, one step at a time. This this campaign, you know, for a, for a nationwide campaign to be uh, uh, based around motorsport has never happened before. So it's a very positive step for us. That's that's true. Yeah. I mean, I've I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, certainly yeah, not yeah. in Pakistan. So um, you know, y you've been traveling all over Pakistan. I mean, we just yeah. managed to grab you, yeah. <laughs> you know, today because you've uh, been on the hunt. It's been very hectic. Yeah, where mm -hmm. all have you been? Where, where are you well, looking? We, we actually just had the Islamabad trials this uh, this last weekend, this Sunday, and uh, great turnout. We had nearly 60, 50 to sixty kids from Islamabad. We picked uh, the top two. And now they're gearing up to go to Lahore for the final. We're in Lahore this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then we're coming to Karachi on the first November weekend. Wow, that's yeah. pretty hectic. And these kids, they're, 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 I mean, what do they come with? What is the entry pack all about? Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I just have this like pack. Yeah. In my <laughs> what is uh, it? The, the entry pack is uh, basically it's a very interesting way to get people involved. Uh, you know, rather than telling them that this come to this address and give us an entry fee because like I said motorsport is an, is a very expensive sport and to cover our basic cost it's a non-profit venture Pakistan Racer Hunt it's not something that we're looking at as a profit venture so but to cover our basic cost some of the cost has been covered by the sponsors but to cover the rest of the cost you know it's a very nominal entry fee so rather than just asking people to come to this specific address and uh, submit their entry fee for uh, for inclusion into the into the championship 
we've basically created this uh, entry packet which is available nationwide at our sponsor outlets so people can just go and purchase it uh, off the rack which is which makes their entry very easier okay yeah. when, when you say we you you have a whole team working with yes, you we do. okay yeah. and and is, is that a, a a big team? Is it a lot of people? Uh, what, what do they all do? No, it, we, uh, it's not uh, as many people as we would we would like, but it's just enough, and we're stretched to our limit as far as workload is concerned. But you know, it's very gratifying to see that more and more people are getting involved. You know, we have we do have a proper media department, we do have a proper PR department, we do have a client services department. Um, see, for motorsport or any other venture to be successful in Pakistan, the infrastructure has to be there. And we've developed the last two, three years to develop that infrastructure. And now we are in a position that we can run a nationwide campaign in different cities uh, very successfully. And uh, yes, there is a team. There is a team. It's a small team, but there's a team. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, so you talk about mostly about kids, right? That, that you saw tried out a lot of kids in Islamabad and so on. Is, is that just an expression that you use or is it people who yeah. are very young in fact? Uh, the, the entry uh, uh, criteria for this was so lax. You just had to be 15 years and over to take part in this thing. But we have had uh, the youngest entrant is 15, the oldest being 61. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's really good. So it's, uh, it's very sweet because not, not everyone who's taking part in this is taking part to go for glory and for the victory. There are a lot of people who are just taking part for the fun of it. Uh, you know, we have uh, whole families entering, uncles, aunties, their daughter and son taking part as, as a uh, combined uh, well, family. Right. Uh, it's, uh, uh, but it's mostly kids. Okay. And we are, uh, our preference is uh, uh, children, uh, kids under 20. It's because uh, we want to train them long term. You know, the, the, you, we have to start them early. Is, is, isn't that dangerous? Uh, every sport is dangerous. Every physical activity that you do is a bit uh, dangerous but uh, modern motorsport is extremely safe you know there hasn't we've been running these uh, racing events for the last two three years and there has never been uh, uh, mashallah se any serious incident and even internationally you'll see like starting from formula one to all the way down to karting motorsport has been made, made a very safe sport to participate in it's very safe that's another thing i was curious about you know how how do you go about doing this i mean do we even have uh, tracks and so on in pakistan <laughs> Uh, that's the thing. We don't even have uh, a lot of racing facilities, but what we do is we make the, do with the with what we have available. You know, we try our best. We have some uh, street circuits that we use. Uh, these are modified racing circuits. We use existing streets and uh, uh, using tire walls and other safety features. You know, we build a temporary track and we hold our races there and then move on to the next des destination. And what about the cars? Uh, we have imported a fleet of racing carts. Uh, these are small racing machines, you know, that, that was also a huge investment on our part uh, and it was made possible by our sponsors. Um, uh, so we've imported the fleet, so just to ensure that, you know, we can hold regular racing events and uh, do uh, racing events as and when we please, rather than just waiting for the opportunity to come when the carts are in Pakistan. So we use those carts to, uh, well, this whole uh, championship is going to be done on uh, racing carts. Okay, and uh, what you, the trials are happening right now. When does it all come together? When does it all culminate? We'll, we'll see what we're doing is we're picking, uh, according to the number of entries that we've received from each city, <coughs> excuse me, we've, uh, we have two uh, entrants from Islamabad that we've selected already. Then we're picking up three from uh, Karachi. We're picking up four from Lahore and uh, we've reserved uh, one uh, seat for a uh, female driver in the last 10 because you know we have seen uh, nearly 20 to 30 girls enter this competition so just to ensure a long-term inclusion of uh, uh, women in this you know we have reserved one seat in the last 10 for, for a girl when these 10 are selected we're going to be flying them down to Lahore for the grand final on the 15th of November this is going to be a 90 minute race just a straight shootout and uh, we'll be picking up the winner and <laughs>